Hey, welcome back everybody to Northern Gaming. Hand of the King here. Got an interesting video for you today. Super auto bets. I'm not very good at this game, but I've had some hours in it, so I can't do a first impressions. Um, let's hop in. I can explain, you know what happens. You basically draft a team of cute animals. You can have up to five. Um, you can buy them for three gold or food for three gold. And you start with ten gold. You can roll for one. You try to get to ten wins before your ten hearts get depleted. Um, so let's try to do that. Uh, pig, sell to gain an extra gold. Horse, when a friend is summoned, give it plus one attack for the battle. Ant, when it dies, give somebody two attack, one health for the battle. You get to run abilities. I mean, a horse is awful and you shouldn't build around it, but at the beginning, the extra attack for the friend there and one of our fish, of which we had three, um, that's pretty good. The fish, when it levels up, it buffs the rest of your team. That's decent. And we'll save those fish for uh, the future. Let's be the flopping packages. And, you know, just... That was a good team name that went well together. Okay, we got two beavers. And our fish is going to help us out. And Grasshopper spawns somebody when he dies. So the horse stands alone. And the cheese stands alone, as I always like to say. So let's see what we can do with that. I mean, the fish are just going to be so powerful. We'll let the horse buff him. We'll combine him next to... What? Why do we have so many fish? I mean, I'm not going to complain, but I guess I am. Because Why? Sell him. Get another fish. We can freeze these. We can get a, get a level 3 fish next turn if we wanted. That would be... This, this ant's just going to absorb so many buffs. We're going to have to see what we can do. What's here? Duck. Not a huge fan. So many fish. That's That's a rarity. But they got good stats, so no complaints. Hey, my aunt! You jerk. It's okay. Do we lose these? We lose these, you know what? Leveled up Otter with the ant buff? It's pretty powerful. Okay. Why are there more? Okay, whatever. Uh, they all have the same stats now that the horse is gone. So we do this. Those get buffed. Blowfish deal two damage to random enemy when hurt. That could be okay. Let's, um, let's level him up, actually. Because that'll give these guys all a buff. Badger, not a huge fan. We don't really need another fish, because these two together will be a whole leveled up one. It'll give 2-2 two, two to the whole team. We're, we need to draft a better team. Let's roll. Not a huge fan. Alright, might lose the next one. I doubt it, but we might. Okay. Could we survive that? Our ant is going to take out the dog, which is great. And then we take out the fish pretty simply. So that's good. Is that somebody's email address? Don't don't go to that email address. Jesus. Alright. We're going to save the fish combine until we have something we want to really buff with 2-2. Two, two. Um, we can s buy and sell the otter for a quick buff. Buffs our blowfish, which is okay. Let's roll the shop. How many fish do you want, man? It could be good to build around a dog, or we could level up an ant, or just pill the ant, or just pill this ant. Let's pill this ant, see where it goes. Hopefully not the other ant. Good. Alright, dog could work with a dog. I don't really like scaling the dog that much. A swan could be nice next turn. I like having a swan on the team for gold generation. And another f Is there a fish every shop? What's going on? Okay, let's see how this team does. Four of us, four of them. So far, we're losing. But we'll win this one, so that's good. Take that, you fatherly balls. That was their team name. Okay. Swan could be good. like begging me to level up the ant, but we don't want to really do that. Or do we? I don't know. I mean, we let's, you know, I don't like thinking too much. Let's give him another 1-1 one, one when we level him. Well, he's not level, but he's halfway to the next level. So, yeah, we'll do that. This should be a winning team, guaranteed. You know, or not. Then again, we did get to hit their otter an extra time. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, some would call it a draw, and I would agree. 
the inedible tugboat? Yeah, you're telling me. Why would you eat a tugboat? All right, let's level him. Gives us a rooster. A rooster could be interesting. But we have to get rid of somebody to add rooster to the team. And that, I wouldn't mind doing the fish buff to the rooster. I kind of want to get rid of the ant, but 8-6, it's, it's literally our best stat thing right now. Statted thing, I should say. We can keep the giraffe around, give 1-1 one, one to the rooster in front or something like that. It would be his whole thing. Okay, you're over there, so we got a spot, but we need the rooster on the team when we combine you. Let's drop the goose for now. It's upsetting, but it's necessary. Then we do this. Okay, bison. Gain 2-2 two, two if at least one level 3. Well, we have a level 3 right here. This fish has been in our face all day long, so that's not even the worst thing in the world. We could work with that. It's probably time to get rid of the blowfish then, unfortunately. And let's freeze you, roll, an ox, some apples. Should we buff the rooster, or should we buff the bison, and he's going to buff himself, so he gets even more buff? Maybe that's what we should do. Yeah, this we might lose this time, but after that, this bison's going to be... It's going to get three per turn minimum. If we can level him up, or the giraffe, that would be incredible. All right, and our ant is going to roll through a couple people, just because it's so... Uh, it's so statted. Alright, and the chick's gonna kill that thing. We're gonna survive and then kill the fish. That's good. And who rolls crab anymore? You know what I'm saying? So, we win there. That's nice. Alright, tier 4 unlocked. Rooster level. I mean, we could, can we rooster level while focusing on the bison? Not a... Not... Not in good conscience, is what I would say. We want to get this ant out of here as soon as we find a pill. Honestly. Giraffe's just disgusting to look at, but who knows. If we found a monkey, that'd be great. I mean, Rooster could be a good backup to the bison having good stats. I mean, the bison already has good stats guaranteed. It's going to get more. A little slower than if it was leveled, but let's try this. We could throw the pair on the bison. Where we could roll. I'm okay with freezing and rolling. Okay. I mean, if we pilled the ant, what would we even buy next, I guess, is my question. Dodo, the rooster? But it's not even buffed. We don't have a buffing mechanism for it right now. Do we freeze the, both foods? No, I want to look for garlic for the bison. Okay, there is a monkey, there's garlic. Crap. Alright, the ant might just have to go, period. Okay, the monkey throws 2-2 two, two to the person in front. So he's going to get his own 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and 1. He's going to get 5 per turn. That's not half bad. We can give him garlic armor. We're a pair right now. I'm okay with garlic armor. Roll a shot. Okay, if we lose, the snail could be beautiful. Are we going to lose, though? I mean, yeah, we only have one great unit. I mean, the fish is 9-10, but who knows. A rabbit could be helpful, but we got two things already buffing the bison and himself, so we don't need a rabbit, too, do we? Okay, let's see how this goes. Not really sure how we're going to do. All right, well, they got melon armor out the butt, so that's cool. Okay, we're going to survive this once. The kangaroo is probably going to end our life overall, especially because of that bus taking out the monkey. I mean, the chick can eat that, but then we're not going to... That's a good team. Who's that? The withering hipsters. You're telling me. Alright. There is another bison already, so that's nice. The snail's nice, too. Do we get rid of the monkey for a snail and just get a monkey back? That's kind of what I'm thinking. We need to keep the fish around. He's the level 3 that buffs the bison. Or maybe we should have gotten rid of the giraffe. 1 and 1 is less than 2 and 2 now that you mention it. Alright, that's my bad. But, we'll get over it. Hmm, could buff the giraffe. And if we found another giraffe, then it would give him an extra more per turn. But we kind of want to get our monkey back, and instead we get nothing. 
interesting. All right, given that, he's kind of our, uh, you know, he's our main thing. We traded a monkey for a one-time snail. Probably a bad idea, but it did buff everybody a bit, so it helped with the chick or the rooster. All right, can you get any more bees on this team? I think our garlic armor is really going to be helpful here. I don't know if it'll give us the win, though. And I, I, what happened in the beginning? Was there a was there a spider that turned into a sheep? Because that's the worst case scenario, obviously. All right, we lose this one because I don't even know why, but you know why. Okay, we got a turtle. I mean, a deer can be okay. Food for the bison can be okay. If we could level up the rooster, that'd be great. I kind of want to level something up. I got so many things that have levels. We need the cow, though. Holy crap. All right, let's do that for free food. This guy better not die, or else we'll just lose. And I realize that. All right, sell the cow. We need to roll. We could roll a scorpion. Only run with only one roll left. I don't mind freezing him. We're not pulling monkeys. We're not pulling roosters or bisons. Scorpion will one hit kill somebody as long as they don't have melon armor to block it. So that could be helpful. Alright, he's 33, 32. Hopefully he kills more than one animal today. Alright, we take out their hippo with one hit, so that's great. And the bison's gonna roll the rest of the team. This is the kind of team we need to fight, um, you know, five more times. Preferably. We got chocolate, so we can level up the bison, so he gets 4-4. Four, four. We can load the rooster, so he bursts into two chicks. Let's do the bison. He's our main unit. The gorilla, I'm not a huge fan of. This team's all right. We just need to buff up the rooster. We can trade the scorpion for a different buffer, too. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. Tiger can be really good. Let's throw some food. Not exactly who we wanted to get it, but the rooster was nice. All right. One more loss and we're done, so hopefully we don't lose. But yeah, we can get rid of the... Okay. Scorpions take care of themselves. We can get rid of the giraffe soon, because he's going to be Max's 50-50 stats, so he's going to be 50-50 soon. I don't mind getting rid of the giraffe. Alright, melon. Okay, here's when we get rid of the giraffe. Put the rooster in back. We give the tiger behind the rooster. When the rooster dies, it splits into two chicks. But the tiger... Makes whoever in front double their ability, so he's going to split into four chicks. So they're only going to be 10-1 right now, which isn't great. But it's still interesting. And it's after our, you know, Poisoner and our beefy units go. Snake can have a place here, but doesn't right now. We can protect the tiger, since he has such low stats. I don't really want to freeze the apple. No point to level up a tiger besides giving her stats, which would be okay. Hmm. Okay, we could give steak to somebody, add 20 damage once. We could put it on the fish, because he doesn't have a food buff. You only have one food buff per person. I don't know if that's been obvious. But, I mean, it's something to do with three gold. We can't buy any of these, because we don't have anything to level up. We can buy the apple or a steak. Let's see if the steak uh, kills anybody. Let's see if we even win this one. I don't know. Flopping packages versus... Squeaky Geeks. Alright. The uh, Scorpion takes out that, which is great. And the Bison is pretty much going to run everybody else into the ground. So that's nice. Okay. Three more for a 10 win. That's what we're looking for. There's our Monkey again, but at this point... We'd have to get rid of... Uh, I mean, we could get rid of the Fish at some point once he's 50-50. Because the Fish is a bit of a weak point. Or we could just freeze him... Uh, forever, and just throw food buffs. Let's see where this lands. Okay. I mean, the bison's going to give himself 4-4, four, four, so if we give him the pair, this will be the last turn we need him to get a buff, basically. Besides the extra one little health. Let's see what's over here. Nothing too incredible. But we could throw a salad. Or we could put garlic on the rooster. Let's just throw the salad. Not the best choice, but... Wasn't our choice, was it? It's random. All right. 
This okay. This one looks tougher. The inedible pearls. They got a fly. We could uh, we could lose this one. All right. Our stake doesn't really work out, but our four chicks. That's gonna help us win. In fact, it's the only reason we won was all the chicks. How about that? Okay, two more wins to go if we want to reach ten. This is gonna be tough. Could level up the rooster again. Could one up the tiger instead of the melon armor. Not really sure what's more beneficial. All right, let's give him those stats. I mean, it's only one one. Actually, I don't know if it's worth the three gold. And then what would we use the monkey for to buff up the scorpion? Maybe we keep the team as it is. I don't know. We could give the rooster a stake, so he has one big hit before he bursts into a bunch of little ones. I don't know what to believe. Let's do that. Maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe this will come in handy. And, uh, okay, we could melon somebody to write over something else. I mean, the bison with the garlic has been working out, but if he walks up against a scorpion, he's dead in one hit no matter what. So maybe it's time to melon him. And I guess we kept the fish around for one more turn to get that last health. But we can get rid of the fish after this, if we live. Probably won't. All right, packages versus the overt tentacles. All right, we're going to take out this dog, which is great, and then the crab. And then that guy. And then we're going to kill the snake. So that was actually a great team for us to face. One more win, and we get ten wins. Pizza is good. Two random pets, two, two. But do we get rid of the fish, or do we let him ride to the end and try to win? Since he's been there since the beginning, this 17 fish have been here since the beginning. I don't know how we got so many fish. Honestly. Let's let him ride to the end, you know? Okay, that's not who we wanted to buff. But let's buff this thing. And, well, I can't really apply these to something new. We can give the scorpion, go to 5-5. Five, five. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll let him live against an ant or something. The fish is going to ride it to the end out of respect. If he loses it, then he's, then he won't be respected. That's all that is. Why do you have so many scorpions, you sick freak? That's fine. You had that other one there for what? No reason. We win. Boom. Ten wins. Decent uh, team. Our bison popped off. Our rooster had to break into four a couple times to help us win. Calm it down with the confetti. All right. That was great, I think. Let's, uh, let's do another run, and maybe we don't have to be so serious to fill it with fish. I mean, this is a fine team. If you get your fish ant buffed, you never lose. Okay, what's going on with... I swear I didn't edit any files. I'm not even going to freeze any fish. Get me out of here. Uh, uncertain hats. Not that certain. Alright. Two ducks. We know what they're doing. They're running duck belt. That's fine. That's respectable. Trying to get a stronger unit by uh, fight three or whatever. That's fine. Another ant could be good for the team. Could work on a bit of a snipey build. Freeze it. And hit me with that ant, actually. Actually, we got six gold, so make a strong ant and a little mosquito. Probably put him near the back. I don't know. It's just the first couple of rounds. Are they that important? Probably, yeah. All right, my guess is... Oh, we did kill their horse pretty quickly. One of them, anyway. My guess is we win these. But I'm not sure. He'll be buffed. Looks like a draw to me, actually, now that you mention it. So, yeah. And nothing's wrong with the draw. Alright, Cricket Town. We got spiders. Okay, now is when we can combine to get a badger. A lot of people like putting the badger at the back with a honeybee on him to win cheeky wins. We can do that. We can almost get rid of this fish, honestly. Regular ant could get pilled. That's positive. Okay. I was just looking for the honeybee, actually. Not cheeky enough, though. All right, we'll hit some more sniper builds. And uh, let's see what we can do with this team. It's probably going to draw at best. But maybe it'll draw. You know, that'll be good. Okay. 
do that. Who are you going to buff? That's good. That lets us get to the dog. We kill him, and we throw another 7 damage. And that's why you need the B on the badger. That's not a B. Alright, the swan is good. You might as well combine those. The swan gives you the extra gold per round. There's your B. Honestly, we could buff the fish. I'd rather get rid of it and take an otter buff to the swan. Not exactly. But that's fine. Otter buff next turn. Yeah, I mean, you can't really break into endgame stuff until it's unlocked. Right now we're on tier 2, as you see. So this is fine. If not, amazing. Could have frozen the otter. Doesn't matter. A huge amount. Alright, we got a very powerful... Uh, Blowfish, which hopefully doesn't... Okay, well, that kind of stunk. Alright, this guy is gonna... Alright, we lose this, unfortunately, to a 2-2 horse. Very unfortunate. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, we can level the mosquito. I kind of want to do that and see what we get. We get a deer. A deer's helpful. Badger, do we level it up to get it more powerful? Yeah, we're going for a mean build. So yeah, we do that, and then what do we garlic? Do we garlic the swan? Can't roll, it wouldn't benefit us. Might as well garlic the swan and call it a day. The deer turns into a bus when it's killed, which has splash damage. So we're probably going to be killing this elephant. That'll be good. That way it won't get to trigger, and it won't get to blowfish uh, us at all. Well, I guess just the ones. Well, our ant's dead. But that's okay. This looks like a win in my eyes. Thank you, Honey Badger. Thank you very much. Alright, we can get a buff going out with the giraffe. It's so not a lot, though. So, not really worth it. The mosquito or the ant can go anytime. But what do we put in its place? Flamingo, it'd be funny to buff a badger up so he's got like a lot of attack. Uh, we could do this. That'll be good. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. As it turns out. Flamingo. Could do that, honestly. Okay. Let's roll one great unit. I mean, an ox could do something. Or a kangaroo could be nice, especially with the Swan. Yeah, let's try a kangaroo here. Maybe that'll save us. I'm just playing with some animals right now. Nobody's really our main focus, as you can see, except the badger. Alright, this team might pose a challenge. Well, at least that ant buff from before let our deer do that. That brings the dog down to one health. And then that brings that down. And then we win, because the bee lives after the badger hits the enemy. And that's why it's cheesy. And that's why I did it. <laughs> Alright. We got a monkey. That could be really helpful. That can buff anybody. We could turn into a hippo build. Get rid of you and you. We can go monkey hippo. When we knock something out, we gain 2-2. Two, two. So the stronger we are, the better. Turtle could buff hippo. Let's freeze it and just buff this guy. Roll me again. Garlic is great. Can we get somebody... Okay, give him garlic. I don't know if we want to invest in a higher level turtle. We could. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on after this. Okay, that's, that's, a, nice, that's a nice hippo. It's going to be real nice with that cricket with a bee that doesn't even proc the bee. It's going to be great. We got 12 attack, that thing's dead in one, the fish is dead in one. Yeah, this wasn't the team to roll up against our hippo and win. That's for sure. Alright, that worked out well. The barbaric cucumbers, get out of here. The uh, the uncertain hats take the day. Alright, we could... What does a level 2 badger do? Deals two times attack adjacent pets. So it'll do 20 damage after it's dead. Which is pretty good. Shark can work well, but our deer's not long for this world, I think. But I like the deer. Oh well. I mean, we don't have to 
sell the deer just yet, but keeping these frozen in that case isn't great. This looks okay, honestly. And hit me with another hippo. Could level up the badger again. I don't think it's necessary or a good investment. But there it is again. I don't know. It could whale our huge badger. That could be an interesting, terrible play. This could be good next turn. Same as a monkey buff. Rooster, we did have success with the rooster before. I'm going to let it go. See what our hippo can get up to. If we can level him up again, that'd be uh, that'd be great. All right, we're gonna okay. That's gonna be good for us. Get that back. He's gonna kill us. Then we kill him with the bus. All right, that's gonna be low. Uh oh. And I think we win that because of the bee cheese again. How about that? I don't know if it's cheese, but it's certainly BM. And I'll and I'll do that any day of the week. So. Well, we got, got what we asked for, Hippo. So he gets 4-4 four, four when he knocks out. We could put a Tiger behind him so he gets 8-8. Eight, eight. That'd be wild. That kind of sounds fun. Deer, you did good. I don't want to get rid of you, but I have to. Okay. Put the Tiger behind that one. Give him more health so he kills more and procs more and all builds on top of each other. Unless the enemy has a Dolphin and our Tiger dies, but maybe the Monkey will die. I don't have enough gold to reroll and do something, so not the best use of three gold, but it'll help. Maybe, in the long run. Let's see what happens. Well, there was that dolphin I talked about, and our team has fallen apart. And that's okay, you know? Can't win them all. But we still got lives to play with. What do we have? We got five lives, so we can lose once more and then before we're, you know, totally out. So what went wrong? A tiger died. This guy didn't kill anybody. So what's going to happen? These people can't help with that, that's for sure. Well, you could kill somebody. I don't know. Monkey. I mean, we could give the stats to this guy. If he had a little more stats, he would have, you know, killed the chick and stuff and lived. Maybe. Maybe not. But it would have been nice. So what's our weakest point? The monkey's buffing him, the tiger is trying to buff him. So everything goes to the hippo, so why not give him 3-3? Three, three? Badger. Permanent 2-2. Two, two. And a 1-1 one, one with chances of leveling up soon. We're probably going too heavy into the hippo, but that's what we're doing. So hopefully it kills somebody and actually gains stats this fight. For the, you know, temporary fight. Well, their skunk killed our whole team by killing our hippo, and that's okay. You know, sometimes you can't win them all. Okay, it's time to get rid of the swan, go scorpion, right? And we're, we're feeling threatened, so we want to get steak for our weakest uh, people. It's probably not a good buy. Now we can't buy any of those. So honestly, we got a monkey next turn if we live. We could do a can. Yikes. I mean, it's all kind of yikes to me. We could do a, a cow. We'll see what happens. We're probably going to die here, considering we've had no luck on uh, the hippo working out. But that's okay, you know? Hmm. Might work out here, actually. Who did that? Stop skunking my hippo up. It's the rudest thing I've ever heard of. We do have over 20 attacks, so we're cracking through the melon armor. And now we're just cracking through these chicks. So we're gaining health. So thanks, skunk. Get out of here, you jerk. Anyway. Skunk lowers your highest health unit by a certain percent, based on this level. By the way, in case that was not clear. Okay, so we can level up, or we can combine the monkeys. They don't level up. If we did the cow, we'd have to get rid of the badger or the scorpion. The scorpion didn't get time to shine, but we can replace him easily. Let's do the cow. This thing levels up. Combine for the monkey. Roll for the monkey. We could do tiger snake hippo, but that makes our hippo even more susceptible to dying, especially to a scorpion up front. Um, maybe we could freeze it and see what we get here. No monkey. 
disappointing. We can get rid of the cow. Or do we? Well, let's get rid of the cow and roll one more time. There's another cow. I'm okay with that for now. Level this guy up. Well, not level, but you know, stat him up. Alright, let's see if he can uh, win a whole other battle by himself, just like the last one. Mm, looks like a high probability. Okay, the turkey is pretty close to the front, but that's okay. Kill the shark and get some health back. Kill the bat and get some health back, and then we... Alright, so the hippo is soloing teams until he's not. Okay, and that's the point we got to worry about, because once he doesn't, our run's over. And that's okay, you know? Alright, we're another monkey. Stop giving me badgers. I could have had a level 10 badger by now. This isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe it was. What did I say about badgers? Damn it. Um, okay. Kind of going hard for the monkey. Didn't really work out. So we could do this and see how Mimi that can get. Hopefully the hippo gets at least two attacks in. Maybe it's time to give him melon armor. It's probably past due for melon armor time. Honestly. Alright. And if we can get the snake leveled up, even better. Did I roll past any snakes? I don't know. Hopefully not. Let's see what the stats are on this first thing. Okay, we can get a few attacks in. Okay, even more now, because, uh... That's great. And we kill him, so we get a buff. That means we'll survive the fly. Never mind. But the turkey's dead. So that's fantastic. We might... Mm, we might not win this one. They're still just going to have an overwhelming amount of units. Okay. Yeah, that was close. That was close. And we almost took out that fly even. 50% of his health was taken out. Okay. That was... That could have gone well. And maybe the tiger ahead of it, or behind that guy would have worked out. Because we were slaying the flies. We could have got more health back. I don't know. And I don't have how to do math. So I'll never know. Anyway, that'll do it. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And I'll do more. And if you hated it, that's fine. You can tell me that too. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day, and a great life.